Hey, in this adventure, I'll introduce some new gear like my trailer, my tent, and my oven. I'll take it all on my first trip. I'll show you what I'll take on my next trip. And I'll explain how testing out my gear turned into me going to a Kid Rock concert. First, I'd like to introduce you to my new trailer. I can't tell you how excited I am to add this to my gear. But before I start using it, I wanted to make some modifications. For safety, I wanted to change these reflectors to LED marker lights and change the ball coupler to a heim joint. I saw someone use a tractor top link and I tried it, but the link isn't compatible with the bush tech pin. And I really wanted to use that locking mechanism. Uh, so I purchased uh, the system from Compact Camp Trailers, uh, but they were sold out. And thankfully, Jeffrey in the Motorcycle Trailer Towing and Touring group on Facebook, he was selling one. Thanks, Jeffrey. Uh, but this wouldn't fit either. So I had to grind the top link to fit the Bush Tech pin. Uh, speaking of Bush Tech, I also use their six-way connector. And this doesn't match the trailer's flat four-way connector, so I had to modify some wiring. I used four diodes to convert the five-way to four, and I added accessory power so I can charge a, a battery going down the road. Uh, more mods for that in the future. I brought the aux wiring into the trailer with the marker lights under the bumper in the rear of the trailer. I thought this would be less noticeable and less likely to leak. These automotive-style connectors, though, they, they can't handle the movements of a trailer, so I'll be changing them. I'll have future videos for those mods. If I've been just fine touring and camping my motorcycle, why a trailer? Well, I want to bring more comfort and I want to be able to work while camping. So this brings us to my new tent. So something I'm very excited uh, that I own, uh, excited to show you, and there's lots of videos of these out there uh, on YouTube. Uh, I can't wait, oh, I gotta show you. So I now have, I'm now a proud owner of a 10 by 14 Kodiak canvas tent. I've wanted a canvas tent since I was a youth in the Boy Scouts. It was always cost or weight that stopped me. Uh, with my work bonus, I got this tent and trailer for some grand adventures. Now, the trailer allows for heavy, bulky items, uh, and this 80-pound tent is certainly that. Now, I do have some other gear I haven't used with motorcycle camping before, and I have some new stuff. From Coleman, I ordered a camp oven and a collapsible water jug. My first attempt at cooking in the oven was a pizza. It turned out okay. I didn't get the temperature quite high enough. Uh, the next morning, I made orange rolls and moved the oven uh, to, the, to the burner closest to the propane. I was able to get the temperature plenty high. Actually, I left it too high for too long, but only the bottoms were burnt. I also picked up some lights from REI. These LED lights look great for a tent or canopy. I'll have to use them in the future. I just received this Rock Solar foldable solar panel. I'll have a separate unboxing video. For now, let me tell you, I'm very excited about this addition. It will allow me to camp more places, but still be able to work and edit videos. Much of my inspiration for this comes from Two Wheels Big Life. The first adventure on my trailer was supposed to be three nights, one in West Tennessee for work and two in Georgia. I set it up so I worked two half days so I could do my doctor visit and get some camping done as well as working remotely. It was the first time I was working from my tent. On Friday, when I was wrapping up work and starting to pack, my dad called. He was headed to Panama City Beach, the Thunder Beach Motorcycle Rally, the next morning. The guy he was going with was backing out, so he asked if I wanted to come along. So I loaded up my trailer, uh, visited a friend for lunch, and then off to Meridian, Mississippi, and then down to Panama City Beach the next morning. Not the most direct route. All total, the first trip with my trailer was about 2,000 miles. <laughs> Not bad for a first test. This gets me to Panama City Beach, uh, but the Kid Rock concert Dad wanted to go to was sold out. There were still three-day passes, but they were $180, and he and I both thought that was a bit much for a concert. So there are, I joined the rally, and like I said, Kid Rock concerts were 
tickets, the ones remaining, were a little too expensive. Uh, so it came time for the concert, and what we did was uh, my dad just walked in, um, just walked right in. As soon as the gates opened, just walked right in. He he has uh, he has luck like that. He's blessed in that way. Uh, I tried to do the same thing, and I don't know if the the big beard stood out or they noticed me or, or what it was, but they stopped me and asked for my for my armband, which I didn't have. They're like, "Do you have a band?" I'm like, uh, "No," and so they they sent me away. Uh, so after that, we enjoyed around a little more. We went and got some some supper. We came back. We're gonna try to park our bikes where we could see uh, see the show at least a little bit. Um, then we decided we couldn't find a good parking spot for that, so we walked up to the fence where we could kind of see between some trucks. Uh, it wasn't a great spot, but we could see and you could hear from anywhere. And there was a couple standing there at the fence already. We talked to them a little bit. He said in years past he jumped the fence. But she wouldn't do it, so he was going to stay there with her. So we talked to him a little bit, kind of waiting on the show, and then we noticed there was a, a lady inside the fence, and uh, she had some pallets set up on one of those tailgate lifts, and uh, she was sitting up there. And we started talking to her, and I'm like, hey, throw a rope down. It's a pretty good seat there. Uh, next thing we know, she lowers the, the ramp down, walks over to her vehicle, comes back and says, I have some employees that didn't show up. Uh, I hate for these passes to go to waste. You know, watching the the concert through the fence is, is no way to watch it. So she handed us uh, passes, and uh, that was quite something. My dad was was very moved uh, by this generosity. Yeah, I'm not a fan of uh, how much of the language Kid Rock uses, but he knows his audience, and he's a good entertainer. So put on a great show. It was a bit of a political rally, and everybody had a great time. So until my next adventure, this is Redbeard. See you on the road. Let's all continue to love one another, fight for our God-given freedoms, and most of all, let's make America rock again. Have a wonderful time tonight. God bless you, and God bless America.